Unexplored the Hosh Geldinis. In today's episode, we are going to explore the beautiful yet mysterious region of Cappadocia. This historic region lies in the center of Turkey and was ruled and influenced throughout the centuries by different peoples and empires, such as the Hittites, Persians, Greeks, Romans, Turks, and many others. Without further ado, here are the 10 best things you can do and visit in Cappadocia. First up is the magnificent town of Göreme. This town is most famous for its so-called fairy chimneys, which are eroded rock formations which give it its unique look and made the town a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Until the Greco-Turkish population exchange of 1923, the city was mainly inhabited by Greeks, whose influence you can still feel strolling through the city. The most interesting part of the city is the Göreme Open Air Museum. In this museum you can see a variety of churches and monasteries. Unfortunately, filming inside the churches and monasteries is forbidden, so I can only show them from the outside. My personal favorites are the Apple Church, the Snake Church and the Black Church. If you feel adventurous like me, then you can go on a hike starting from Göreme, going through the Rose Valley and finishing in the charming village of Chavushin. The hike is easy doable as the distance between the locations is only 4 kilometers. While going on the hike you can admire the impressive nature and even spot some vacant houses in the valley on your way to Chavushin. The village of Chavushin is quite modest in size, but the rock ridge overlooking the village is very impressive as there are a lot of vacant houses built inside it. Next up is Avanos. This city with its approximately 14,000 people is the largest one in the region and also most likely the place you might stay when you decide to visit Cappadocia. While most people just use it as a base to go to places like Göreme, Chavushin and others, I would recommend you to also visit the city as there are a few interesting sites in the city such as the Old Town, the Merkez Mosque and you can also stroll through along the riverbank of the Kuzul Irmak. Turkey's longest river. The name means Red River because the mud inside the river has a reddish color and was and still is used to make clay, which in turn made the region of Cappadocia famous for its pottery. While in Avanos you can visit a carpet factory to learn more about the centuries old craft. You can go on a guided tour where the guide will show you step by step how the carpets are made and how the Turkish carpets differ from other carpets. After the tour there is the possibility to buy a carpet if you are interested. You simply cannot visit Cappadocia without taking a hot air balloon flight. In the following minute you will see why. So sit back and enjoy the amazing views that Cappadocia has to offer. Next up is the mysterious yet beautiful underground city of Kaya Shehir. 
Kaya Shehir means stone city in Turkish and is one of 32 underground cities in Cappadocia. It is the newest one of them as it was opened for the public in the year 2020. The underground city is estimated to be over 5000 years old and inside you can see how people used to live in the city during times of conflict. Kaya Shehir is easily accessible as it lies on a hill overlooking the city of Nefshehir. While you are there you can also visit the Nefshehir castle. From the top of the castle you can enjoy the amazing view overlooking Nefshehir and its surroundings. The Monk's Valley. This impressive valley is located between Göreme and Avanos and is arguably one of the most impressive valleys you will find in Cappadocia. The valley got its name because in Byzantine times monks and hermits would go to the valley and carve up homes in the fairy chimneys to live and pray there without being bothered by others. You can go inside the houses and stroll through the valley and be amazed by its beauty. Next up is the town of Uchisar. This small town of over 3000 people is definitely worth a visit as the town is filled with fairy chimneys especially in the so called Pigeon Valley that lies between Uchisar and Göreme. Some of the fairy chimneys you can visit from the inside which I highly recommend as you can see how the homes are decorated from the inside and the views are breathtaking. The huge formation you can see is called the Uchisa castle, even though it is not a castle but a rock. On a clear day you can even see the Mount Ergias, which is with its 3917 meters the second highest mountain of Turkey. If you are traveling through Cappadocia by car like I did, then the Sultan Hanu Caravanserai is a must. Located in the city of Sultan Hanu, which lies on the road between Konya and Aksaray, this caravanserai is the oldest and best preserved in Turkey. It was erected in the year 1299 and is the best example of pre-Ottoman Seljuk architecture in Turkey. Inside you can see the chambers where the traders would have slept on their journey throughout the legendary Silk Road. Inside the main hall there was an exposition of old carpets. As you can see the Turks are very proud of their carpets. Finally, if you are visiting Cappadocia with your significant other or feel particularly romantic, then the Love Valley is for you. You may ask why this valley is called Love Valley? Well, according to local legend, there was once a village in the valley that split because of a conflict. However, two lovers from the opposing sides met each other secretly in the middle of the valley and wanted to marry each other. When the families found out, they killed a man to prevent that. Receiving the news that her lover was killed, the woman then committed suicide. It is said that God then let rocks rain over the valley, killing everyone because they were against this law. 
A more boring explanation, however, is that some buried chimneys in the valley are heart-shaped. If you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell in order to not miss any of my new videos and see you next time.